Hong Kong is a divided city. The rich are rich and the poor are poor. Its Gini coefficient, a measure of inequality ranging from zero for perfect equality to 10, where all wealth is concentrated in one person's hands, was 5.4 in 2011, 12% higher than the rest of China, 19% higher than the US, and 99% higher than Germany. Erwin Huang came from the fortunate side of the divide. Yet he left his job as CEO of TSL Jewelry, a profitable three billion Hong Kong dollar turnover company with 3,000 employees to become a social entrepreneur dedicated to reduce inequality. Why did he make the switch? In 2009, a television show challenged him to live on the poor side of the wealth divide. He accepted and lived in a cage home, collecting garbage and living on 50 Hong Kong dollars per day. This experience inspired him to become a social entrepreneur. First, he produced a call device and service to help the elderly, and then in 2011, he started Web Organic to address the digital divide. Web Organic bid to roll out the Hong Kong government's five year internet learning support program called I Learn at Home to facilitate the adoption of e-learning among students from low-income families. Mr. Huang successfully bid to receive government funding of 20 million Hong Kong dollars per year over five years to set up Web Organic. Web Organic is what? You have to go to the internet. 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 Every student should have their own learning space, digital learning space where they be able to actually learn anywhere, any place. We, we want to see children be able to actually learn, grab opportunities and create hope themselves. Our thinking is to offer good device, the newest iPads, the newest ThinkPads, the good PCs and the good networks and the good device and so on, to the poor people because this is for our future. Three quarters of Hong Kong households have personal computers at home high by world standards. But the remaining quarter of the population, the underprivileged, is on the wrong side of the digital divide. Only a third of families in the lowest quartile of income have computers at home, and it hits students hard. Out of a class of 40 students, about one or two, it's not online. And this is supposedly the most technology cities in the whole world. And we will see in the long run most learning would require more and more internet use, use of computers, and digital lifestyle. It's a basic thing to help to help people survive. The whole concept of that is to create new values so that people can actually use this when they're learning and growing together so that they become more competent in the internet world. Business people face a choice. Alternative one, compete in a red ocean of known market space where boundaries are defined and accepted and rules of the game are well understood, trying to outperform rivals to grab greater shares of existing demand. As the space gets more and more crowded, profits and growth fall, turning the water bloody red. Or alternative two, move into a new industry, an unknown market, untainted by competition, surf into blue oceans, where demand is created, where there is an opportunity to grow profitably and rapidly. Follow a blue ocean strategy. Blue ocean strategies are used by businesses to make money. But can they be used by social entrepreneurs to make meaning? Web Organic uses scale, scope, and strategic partnering to provide a service that actually meets the needs of students, parents, and schools. By offering this, we'd be able to actually offer scale, which help lower the overall cost. By offering scope, we can offer differentiated help for different people in the system, so that we'd be able to actually be big and focused at the same time using technology. Our job is to actually have scale, because to, to sell one device, we are not able to actually overall lower the cost. But when we actually start selling a large number of devices, 10,000, 100,000, we'd be able to check it over the, low, low, the, the overall administration cost of the device and also the network and also the service. By providing that, in a way, we OEM the ISP. Web Organic distributes digital devices to Hong Kong school children at affordable prices. How affordable? Take one example. 
Web Organic offers a Lenovo notebook plus home broadband service for $1,550 Hong Kong dollars per year for three years. A major ISP, HKBN, offers home internet broadband service alone for $158 Hong Kong dollars per month, equaling $1,896 Hong Kong dollars per year. HKBN charges 346 Hong Kong dollars more per year than Web Organic, but Web Organic gives the students a computer as well as the broadband service. And with the government's I Learn at Home subsidy to underprivileged families of 1,300 Hong Kong dollars per year, the underprivileged family has to pay for the computer plus broadband 250 Hong Kong dollars per year. But how can Web Organic source web access plus a computer for less than the price of web access alone? We actually work very closely with many different strategic partners. Those partners include Apple, Lenovo, Intel and Cisco, software suppliers like Microsoft, platforms like Google and Hong Kong ISPs like PCCW. Mr. Huang negotiated prices above marginal costs of production and distribution, but well below market prices, so that partners can maintain positive cash flow, increase market share and fulfill corporate social responsibility. The way that we de deliver scale is to through good use of IT technology. We have a call center that single that in a one spot, we handle all the services with our customer. So through that, we build a system, a very good CRM, customer relationship management system. Web Organics online CRM allows students to pay online or through convenience stores, and gives Web Organic full information about the status of customers, suppliers, sales, and products. Web Organic uses external suppliers to develop and maintain its CRM, allowing it to concentrate on its core competencies. Our thinking is that even though we are providing networks, devices and so on as a commodity, we don't want to just trade commodities. But how can Web Organic deliver its services with just 13 full-time employees from a single office in one chai? The key is partnering. A network of community service centers provides distribution and after-sales service. But the contracted service centers are non-profit making organizations. They are NGOs that typically deal with the target market as part of their social missions. They understand underprivileged students. Web Organic's parent is the Hong Kong Council of Social Services, an umbrella organization for over 300 NGOs, including the Boy Scouts, churches, the Federation for the Blind, Oxfam, Bolongok, the Red Cross, the Salvation Army and the YMCA. These NGOs are dedicated to improving Hong Kong. Web Organic asked the NGO's members to bid to run device distribution and mentoring through their premises and trains the winning bidders in Web Organic's system. In this way, Web Organic rolls out its distributed services in one of the most expensive cities in the world. First year, we work with about 14 centers. Second year, we double that. Now we are almost at 30 centers. Some are Salvation Army, very, very disciplined, working on things. Some are YMCA, very young, new ideas, working on things and so on. Some are very religious related and so on. So they all have their own strength and their own beliefs. NGOs bid to provide the locations for and services of Web Organic in the service centers. Some of the young educated mentors in the centers for underprivileged students come from universities. Web Organic brings in mentors through partnering with universities to arrange for regular volunteers. When we go to the university, it's even more interesting. The university students actually get some uh, degree points, credits, when they actually come and help us. So in a way, the university is working closely with us to actually deliver our mentorship and service. If a poor kid starts using the device, they have, they're connected through internet, and then we can match them with good mentors from universities, and the mentors can actually walk with these students. Web Organic is more than just devices, services, and training. The vision of Web Organic concerns e-learning, and e-learning involves working with Hong Kong schools. Mr. Huang has set up two programs to promote e-learning in classrooms. The first is the SEED program, getting the schools to achieve full penetration of web access to all students. The SEED school program focuses on helping 
increasing the awareness, solving the infrastructure problem with the schools. At first, it's very difficult because they think this is only selling. When we first start, we focus on helping the underprivileged people in Hong Kong. There are, let's say, out of the Hong Kong 800,000 students. So our job at first is to focus on these people. But when we go out to actually t talk to schools, their thinking is that, okay, why would the, these very good devices only go for the poor people. Because of our offer, our offer is so low in cost and so easy that anybody can actually join. They actually see opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one computing. So when we go into a class, not just the poor people or the underprivileged is actually being helped. We actually provide the same device for everybody in the, in the same class so that they be able to actually get start with the same, uh, same starting line. That's our motto, to actually allow them to actually be able to actually compete starting at the same line. The TREE program is implemented after each student has his or her device and is online. At that point, coordinated e-learning begins. Only at that point does the nature of learning change from the traditional classroom model to one-on-one -on -one computing. Some of the schools can form alliance so that they can work together. Let's say A school focus on using mathematics e-learning. The B school might be focusing on using it for liberal studies. We'll work with them develop something in scale so that we'll be able to actually distribute it over time. Schools in Hong Kong are very competitive. They start thinking about how do we get the best students, how do we compete with people nearby and so on. So by providing them with a good chance to actually do e-learning, they become our partners. Device manufacturers, ISPs, student volunteers, NGOs, schools, all are critical partners in Web Organics value creation. The families of the students are also essential. I've spoke to more than 200 principals and they said it's, you need to convince the parents. So I went, went to many parents teacher association to start talking to, to parents. Some parents move very fast because in Hong Kong a lot of parents are knowledge workers. So they'd be able to actually learn very, very quickly. But on the other hand, some parents in Hong Kong are underprivileged. Among Hong Kong's underprivileged are ethnic minorities and new immigrants, especially those who come from mainland China. Let's say if this is a, a new immigrant coming in from, from China, they have problem with Cantonese, with the Chinese language in Hong Kong. They might have problem with integrating with the English that we, that we teach in Hong Kong. So after delivering the device, after providing them with a network, we can provide very specialized learning tools, let's say English applications, that they can actually just take and they be able to actually go on their own same pace so that they can learn their English or the Cantonese faster to actually catch up with the local community. Think about how a school works. When you are in a class, the teacher don't have time to actually just help one or two students with their small language problem just because they are new immigrants. But they need to be integrated into the whole society. Although Mr. Huang continues to contact parents to determine e-learning needs and improve Web Organic strategy, when it comes to delivery of services to individual families, Web Organic relies on its partners. The partners are the caseworkers from government agencies and NGOs who enter the homes of families. We build a system, and the system delivers most of the things. But the in-depth people, how people really change, we don't go into every single room, home, to actually help them do things and so on. But our partners actually do that. So they're, they're, they are being empowered. I hope that ecosystem model, where it's a win-win-win situation, can actually drive the method. By providing this targeted technology, we can actually have an economy of scope where the students can have help at the right time, at the right space, with their own pace, so that they can learn through their own pace. This is the promise of e-learning. By delivering this scope and scale at the same time, this actually would change the whole learning process. Mr. Huang faces the challenge of every service leader building his team. His task is made more difficult by the diverse nature of his partnering model. Building a team is very important to us. We only have 13 people as a full-time employee. But at the same time, we have more than 30 different social centers working with us. We work with hundreds of schools many PTAs, parent-teacher associations, and at least we work with 10 major corporations. But now we are learning to actually build this into a system. Take one example of system building. In a business environment, everyone strives to increase profits. But Web Organic partners with teachers and social workers. For them, 
The social mission dominates, and they are never concerned with profits. But in a social enterprise, while the mission is the key, a positive cash flow is critical for sustainability. So implementing an efficient information system is very important to a social enterprise. We actually find that it's, it's very difficult because we're not dealing with a normal, let's say, sales channel where people understand numbers are important. We're trying to put a business system into a social working environment. A social worker might collect some money and deliver a device, but forget to fill that in into a system because that's not their normal work. Because the way that social worker think, if I have time, why should I be filling in forms? I should be going out into more home visit and helping more people. It's a cultural difference. I would say it's a cultural shock for me. And then when I first go down and say, why don't you fill in those numbers so that at least we can help those people? And they were, they were fighting with us. And they were literally saying, I should be spending my time to actually go into the field to actually help people. Both are right. We are learning. By subcontracting a critical part of its system to NGO workers, Web Organic has confronted cultural conflicts at the heart of social enterprise. Web Organic uses training and communication to resolve these conflicts. We do trainings. We do uh, uh, training on how to use our system, how to give service, how to support, let's say, an iPad. It's a, it's a system level thing. They find, oh, if I feel this, somebody next door might actually be able to help me very, very quickly. So they know how to solve it instead of reinventing the meal. And I think that communication is very, very important. We do communicate a lot. We use a lot uh, of the digital tools and social networks. So uh, almost every day, because we have so many partners working on so many things every day, they take pictures. And it's on our website, on our Facebook, and people see it every day. So people get engaged and they get excited about things that we do. Delivering good service in a social environment takes people, takes heart, not just hard work. Your heart needs to be in there, your passion needs to be in there. It's not just the numbers that we are chasing. We need to lead by example, we need to go into the front so that we be able to actually work with people and show them this would change the world. A major challenge for Mr. Huang is to build a sustainable organization that can continue after the initial five years government support runs out. To be able to have sustainability is very, very important. Obviously, we dream of a vision that's a long-term thing. We are fighting poverty, which is, I, I hope, that someday we can actually win. But I think this will be a long-term thing that any society needs to really do. Sustainability requires positive cash flow. Scale and scope economies are achieved by leveraging Web Organic's competitive advantage through partnering. But to be sustainable, we need to be able to at least have P&L big even. So we, we, as a business, we actually need to solve our payment and then be able to earn enough money to actually pay for our own goods. In a way, we, have a, we are a startup, we have an initial funding, and, but we need to drive to that even point where we actually deliver enough with a scale to cover our fixed costs. And I think that's very, very important. We need to continuously drive that and to get to scale very, very quickly. And I, I have a five, five year plan. I, my target is about by the, by the end of the fifth year, we'll be able to actually get to that. Mr. Huang believes in the education paradigm shift. E-learning is the way of the future. There will be no more books. The traditional classroom will be replaced by one-on-one -on -one learning with students in the digital world and Web Organic will play a role in bringing Hong Kong into the world of e-learning so all Hong Kong children, rich and poor, will share equal access to a common platform. One important thing that we need to see, hopefully, is that the paradigm shift from old way of learning to e-learning happens in this four or five years. I think in the whole world, this, it's going to happen. So that paradigm shift, we are not really just actually pushing the whole thing to actually happen. The whole world is actually going that direction. Hopefully we can ride on that wave. Our vision is to help everybody so that we'll be able to actually get everybody a learning space anywhere, any place they can learn. And they'll be able to actually connect to people, connect to knowledge, connect to opportunities. First year, I would say we focus on building that network, that relationship, building products so that we'll be able to actually get good products from the world continuously getting good ones, and then build it, bring, bring it into our system, and our system distribute it to the right people through our social centers, through our schools, through our parents' associations, and so on. First year when we, when we do it, we are setting a dream. 
Now we have cases. The model is running. Although Web Organic sells computers and uses the internet, its innovation was not technology. It's a system innovation to create value by focusing on service delivery through partners. We are working with multiple industries in the sense of social welfare world, the education industry, the publishing education industry, working with the government, and we're also working with a IT gadgets type distribution work, work and so on. That's five to six industries that we are trying to change. By selling the long-term dream of building that e-learning industry, that would become the demand. And when that paradigm shift happened, everybody would be coming to us and say, I want to get this done. Can you help me get this done? Now I need to go and convince them. Our corporate mission is to deliver hope, chance, and choice.